Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. It's good to be back. Gone for a few weeks just to celebrate the holidays with the family, have some alone time. Now I'm craving to get back into some cooking shows. So be ready because this year is going to be hot. Today we're going to be doing something called poutine. Uh, I had some pronunciation lessons from people in Canada. Some people call it poutine. Somebody, some of the French call it poutine. Uh, there's an, like a, an S sound in the middle of it. Uh, however you want to pronounce it, I'm going to say poutine because that's how it's spelled in my dictionary. So we will move on that in just a moment. But first I want to tell you who won my contest. I asked you to tell me uh, what my favorite Christmas song was. My favorite Christmas song was Carol of the Bells. And you guys know that one, right? It goes, bum ba ba bum bum ba da dun 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 ding dong ding. Yeah, that one. Okay. Anyway, I don't sing for a living. That's uh, That was my best effort. Uh, the first person to guess that was Danny ZB, or it's Danny's B. I think it's Danny's B. That's how he pronounces it. But anyway, he was the first one to guess Carol of the Bells as my favorite Christmas song. He was right, and we've already shipped him out his choice of sauce. Now you're ready. I'm still in the giving spirit, even though the holidays are over, and I'm ready to do another giveaway. So get ready. This year, I have a trip planned to go to an American city and shoot a cooking video in that city. I'm not going to tell you what city it is. Whoever guesses this American city first gets their choice of free sauce from me, and I'll ship it right out to you. Now it's time to get into the recipe. Poutine is three ingredients. French fries, gravy, round gravy at that, and cheese curds. I thought, piece of cake, this is going to be an easy video. Well, let me tell you something. These cheese curds, I went to 10 different stores on the West Coast, uh, the American West Coast, you can't find these anywhere. I got these at Trader Joe's. They luckily had cheddar cheese curds. It's the only cheese curds I get my hands on, and these are brought in from Wisconsin. So if you're looking to do this recipe, you can either get cheese curds at your local Trader Joe's or just substitute it with like a shredded cheese, okay? It's not quite the same. Uh, I guess cheese curds is, uh, you ever have like old milk and you're pouring it and a big chunk comes out of it? That's a curd. Don't get me started. So I'm guessing this is just like moldy milk. I don't know. Uh, maybe some of you can explain what the curd is and how come it's coagulated bad milk and yet we're eating it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm gonna drop dead in this video. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so anyway, I used one of these things on my potatoes. This is a uh, kind of a french fry slicer. <laughs> you can get these at any kitchen store. Uh, this was really easy. Be real careful but be real firm when you do this on the potatoes. And then you're gonna have a whole plate of potatoes that look like french fries, all right? We're gonna deep fry these in my cooker here. This is really, isn't really my cooker. I got this from my dad for Christmas, but the beautiful thing is I get to use it on my show and I'm the first one to use it, so I'm really excited. So I've never deep fried french fries. That's a first on the show. Um, I've never made french fries ever. All right, so uh, let's get these things cooking first and then we'll show you how to put it all together, okay? I'm just gonna put some of these fries in the basket. I'm not gonna use it all, because I think it tells us not to, uh, not to fill the basket too much. Who knows? Wow, that's a big basket. Here we go, I'm just gonna put them all in there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lower it in. <laughs> Hope this works. Oh, bringing it down. Uh-oh. There's one nut, there's one nut, here we go. Hang on a minute, gotta help that french fry in there. There we go, that'll work. You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee, we do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com, I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. So, as you can see, they're golden brown, just the edges. And let me pull one out for you. <laughs> They've been draining a little bit. See, the edges are kind of golden brown. You don't want to go too much. All right, what you want to do is do this by eye, because this took almost 10 minutes, not three to five minutes. The book doesn't even know what it's talking about. Okay, so we're gonna get, get these and put them on a paper towel. If you don't have a deep fryer and you wanna make this at home, 
just put oil in the bottom of a, of a frying pan and fry them in there, okay? And just keep turning them. Real simple to do at home. You don't need this. You just fry them in a little oil in a frying pan till they're golden brown, until they look like this, okay? All right, let's drain these out right now. They kind of want to stick together. So what you do while they're, while they're cooling, you can just like take a fork and, and break them up. I'm using a knife here. Just kind of separate them a little bit. And then hit this with a little bit of salt. There you go. And let those cool for a little bit. All right. Now the curds, they recommend taking the curds and hitting those in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds. So we're gonna soften those up right now. While that's softening in the microwave, we're gonna throw some of these hot fries in here like this. Then it says take a little bit of brown gravy. You can make your own, you can get some at the store. And you're just gonna cover the, cover the fries. And then you're gonna crumble the, the cheese on top. You don't want big pieces. So you're gonna break it up, just crumble that cheese up there. Just break it up. Let that set for a minute, let the heat from the fries and the gravy just kind of melt that cheese a little bit, soften it up. Then we're gonna try it out and see what all of Canada is raving about. Now here it is, it smells pretty good. The lazy man's way, okay, is to get the french fries, buy them at the store and bake them in the oven like you would normally do french fries. Get a can of gravy, pour it on top, shredded cheese on top and zap it in the microwave. Let's give this a try. Hmm, it's not bad. You definitely need the salt on the french fries though. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Mmm. The second bite, you get used to the flavors. I'm just not used to brown gravy on my french fries, but it's pretty good. Something different. This is what Canadians are eating. It's so popular that a lot of the fast food joints like KFC, they serve this there. All over Canada, mainly comes from Quebec. Mm. All right, that's real good. Okay, before you go, let's hit the viewer mail. Oh, I'm sorry. Before you go, let's hit the... It's time for viewer mail. There. Can't forget my buddy. If I left him out, he'd be all upset. I know it's a new year, but he's back. Okay, where we got? Oh, here we go. The Irish Fan 92, okay? The Irish Fan 92 asks me for an update. Uh, you guys saw that I submitted for the next Food Network star? Okay, they never called. Yeah, what a shock. <gasps> this is my shock look, ready? <gasps> That's it, all right, so there you go. And the other thing is, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, I was watching your video about tater mitts. Wow, that's an old video. I bought these and you need to bake them, then rub the peel off. Okay, let's just settle this once and for all. The tater mitts that let you peel potatoes, okay? Stop telling me I need to bake them. Stop telling me I need to boil them. Stop telling me I gotta prep the potatoes to peel them with these gloves. That defeats the purpose of going on TV and saying it only takes eight seconds to peel these potatoes. It doesn't. It takes about five minutes to boil the water, takes another four minutes to blanch the potato, and then another eight seconds. So really, it's not eight seconds to peel a potato. I don't wanna prepare my potatoes. I'll use a peeler instead of the gloves. Tater mitts are a fail. Stop posting, you gotta boil them first, cause I'm not gonna do that. There. And I'm not gonna tell you who wrote me that. A real nice person wrote me that, by the way. But uh, I'm not gonna put their name up uh, regarding that comment. And then, oh, here we go, cheese crisps. Thank you for the picks. I got my buddy uh, ROFL. Waffle uh, sent me a picture of his cheese crisps. This was one of our football finger foods. My mouth's watering just talking about it. Uh, cheese crisps, are, crisps are, are a huge hit. So check those out, okay? We got Super Bowl coming up soon, so you might want to try that out. Keep sending the pictures. Keep sending video comments. Send it all. We'll feed it into the show, okay? This is your show. You're cooking with Jack, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.